Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you Zener diode as a voltage regulator. Here, first I'll explain you basic circuit of Zener diode as a voltage regulator. After that, I'll derive essential parameters based on that circuit. And at last, I'll solve one very interesting example based on Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So first of all, you need to understand what is voltage regulator. See voltage regulator means you will be having constant output voltage. So input voltage may vary but output voltage will remain constant. Means here with the use of Zener diode we will be keeping output voltage constant. Means we will be using Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So if you observe here we are having output that we are taking across load resistance RL and we are connecting this Zener diode in reverse bias over here. By connecting Zener diode in reverse bias, we can have Zener diode as a voltage regulator. If you observe with this Zener, this is cathode that we are connecting it with positive terminal of output and this anode that we are connecting it with negative terminal of output means we are connecting this Zener diode in reverse bias across load RL. Here once breakdown of Zener diode happens, after that voltage across Zener will remain constant. So in characteristics I have explained that. See when you keep this Zener diode in reverse bias, at that time once breakdown happens then voltage across Zener will remain constant. So after Zener voltage, you see Vz, voltage remain constant over here and current will increase, right? So here what we will be doing is we will be using Zener diode as a voltage regulator in reverse bias. Once breakdown happens, then that voltage will appear at output side, right? Here if you talk about some other parameters, then here we are connecting Rs in series with Vs. This RS that we are using it to limit the current passing through VZ. If you don't use RS, then high current will flow through VZ. Right. So to limit the current passing through Zener diode, we are connecting RS resistance over here. Right. And one more essential thing that you need to note down over here. See this Zener diode that we can use it as a voltage regulator only if output is having voltage that is greater than Vz. If you don't have output voltage which is greater than Vz then you cannot regulate output by Vz value. Right. So here Zener diode that is working as a voltage regulator in reverse bias. You can observe here we are connecting Zener diode in reverse bias across output for voltage regulation. This RS that we are using it to limit the current passing through Zener diode. So here we are connecting RS which will be limiting current passing through Zener diode. And Zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator only if output voltage over here that is more than Zener voltage without Zener diode. So if you don't connect this Zener diode and as if your output is greater than Vz then only one can regulate the voltage with the use of Zener diode. Right. Now I'll be deriving few essential parameters. So with this Zener diode, if you want to calculate current passing through load, which is IL, then you can say load current, load current that one can easily calculate as per UC. Here Vz that is the voltage across this Zener, right? So IL will be Vz divided by resistance RL. Right, so IL will be Vz divided by resistance RL. As if you want to calculate source current over here, IS. So you see source current is IS which is passing through resistance RS. Right, so if you want to calculate source current, then source current that one can easily calculate as per you see here we have Vs voltage and at this terminal Vz voltage is happening which is regulated voltage, right? So Vs minus Vz divided by Rs that will be source current Vz minus Vs minus Vz divided by Rs that is 
source current. Now, if you want to calculate current passing through Zener diode, that is IZ, then for Zener current, you will have to apply KCL over here, right? So, entering current that is equals to leaving current, entering current is IS and leaving current is IZ and IL, right? So, based on this, you can have Zener current that is IZ is equals to IS minus IL. So, now we have Zener current, load current and source current. If you want to calculate how much power is dissipated over here across Zener diode, then that power that will be voltage into current, right? So, power across Zener that will be PZ that is VZ into IZ. So, that is how different parameters that one can calculate. Now, let us solve one problem over here. So, here, see same circuit that is there with us. We need to find Zener current and power dissipated across Zener diode. So, first of all, you need to understand one thing. Without Zener diode, is it like we have output voltage which is greater than Zener breakdown voltage? That is what you will have to find first, right? So, without Zener diode, output voltage will be how much? See, input that is 18 into volt resistance across output that is 1 kilo ohm divided by total resistance that is 1 kilo ohm plus 250, right? So, this will be 18 into 1000 divided by 1250. If you do this, you will be getting 14.4 voltage. So, here if you observe this output voltage that is greater compared to Zener breakdown voltage, right? That is greater than Vz that is of 10 voltage means this circuit will be regulating output voltage by 10 volt, right? Now, let us try to understand how to find Zener current. So, directly one cannot calculate Zener current Iz. First, you will have to find load current then you will have to find source current based on that you will be having Zener current, right? So, here IL that will be Vz by RL, right? IL that is voltage across this resistance divided by this resistance. So, here 10 voltage that is Vz which is regulated output voltage divided by RL is 1 kilo ohm. So, this will be 10 milli ampere. 10 divided by 1 kilo means 10 milli ampere. If you want to calculate IS, then IS is simply source voltage Vs minus Vz divided by this RS resistance, right? So, this is 18 minus Vz that is 10 divided by source resistance that is 250. So, this is 8 divided by 250. So, 8 divided by 250, that will be 32 milliampere. You just solve it in calculator, you will be getting this only, right? Now, once you have IL and IS, by KCL, by KCL, you will be having IZ, right? By KCL, you can say IZ is how much? IZ is IS minus IL, right? IS minus IL. So, if you substitute this 32 minus 10, you will be having 22 milliampere. So, we are having Zener current. Now, if you want to calculate power dissipated across Zener diode, then Pz will be how much? Pz will be Vz into Iz. Vz is 10. So, 10 into 22 milli, right? So, here you see, 220 milli volt, you can say 220 milli volt and even you can say that is 0.22 volt. So, that is how one can easily calculate different parameters of voltage regulator of Zener diode. I hope you have understood all those things. In future coming videos, I will be solving few more examples based on Zener diode that will give you more clarity regarding how to solve problems based on Zener diode. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.